When BMW has something new to show, then you can be sure that pomp and circumstance will be involved. Fitting to draw the gaze to the new 7 Series. The hourglass is bigger than most, 12 meters tall to be exact. It's made of acryl and steel. And that's not sand inside. 180,000 silver balls fall to reveal in tantalizing slowness the jewel inside. It took two whole days for all the balls to descend until finally the new limousine was revealed in all its splendor. Well, the 7 Series is our top-of-the-line product, very emotional, but this time I think we really gained from perfect proportions that you have to really thank the engineers for that. They really put a lot of work into that. It's a dynamic car, really looks it, but with these really good proportions, the elegance comes across, and I think that's something that the 7 Series really, really deserved to have. Another beautiful layer of elegance on top of what was already an avant-garde sporting car. There are visible differences from the preceding model. The characteristic double grille stands more erect, the lines of the long hood sweep up, and at the front wheel arches there is a meeting of concave and convex surfaces. Modern, sportive, elegant. The elegance comes across, uh, we believe, through the lines. If you look at the side view, uh, you see uh, a very long line running from the front lamps all the way uh, along the body side into the rear lamps. The door handles are integrated in this line. This line uh, stretches the vehicle and that brings elegance, uh, but elegance also comes across through the line uh, that defines the side window graphic, and that line is even accentuated by a chrome strip. In general, the look of the flagship model from the Bavarian manufacturer has more charm than previous Bengal builds. There's an economical diesel for Europe, a 12-cylinder for China, and a hybrid for the Americans. The BMW 7 seeks to be all things to all men. Beyond the borders of Western Europe, there is an emphasis on ostentatious show to underline performance, luxury, and the most advanced technology. And the new 7 Series has plenty of that to offer. The motorization, two petrol engines and a diesel from 245 horsepower to 407 in the 750 version. The hybrid is due next year. The prices range from 70,000 euros for the diesel to 94,000 for the 750 Li. Previously, the interiors were styled with a cool, high-tech aesthetic, but now they are much more inviting. New materials, such as ceramics, find their use together with wood and leather, and BMW has slimmed down its technology overload. The iDrive system has been made more compact, and now allows direct access to key menu functions. Although the central control knob has been improved, there are still a bewildering number of keys and buttons. 59 at last count. There's plenty of space in the back, which is now truly luxuriously appointed. Now even the backseat passengers can email and surf the web, an innovation some will welcome, perhaps. The exhausted executive may appreciate the back massage functionality, although whether this will replace the physiotherapist, we cannot know. As ever, the right combination of dynamic motoring and maximum comfort is elusive. The newly developed adaptive suspension and complex axle construction helps. With electronically controlled shock absorption and active sway compensation, the basic setting is entered at the touch of a knob. Comfort, Normal, Sport and Sport Plus. The comfort setting is soft and smooth, but without the feeling of sitting on a swing. With the sport setting activated, there is hardly any lean to be felt and the steering is very spontaneous, but the ride is in no way uncomfortable or nervous. A significant role is played by the steering of the rear wheels. BMW tried this approach with the 850 CSI, but at the time it was a flop. Is this the breakthrough now? Up to a speed of 60 kilometers an hour, the rear wheels steer up to three degrees in the direction opposite to the front wheels. The result is a smaller turning circle and a car which is markedly easier to handle. At higher speeds, all four wheels turn in the same direction. Alterations of vehicle balance are less noticeable and, especially for the backseat passengers, cornering is more comfortable. The 7 Series has another stunning gimmick. The car can read traffic signs and warn of speed limits.
The cameras identify the content of signposts and on the monitor the currently applicable speed limit can be clearly displayed. However, it is up to the driver to respond. The system is not linked to the automatic cruise control. If the car is going too fast, it's still the driver's fault. At night, the driver has the help of an infrared camera, helping him to identify pedestrians at the roadside. The camera system sees distant human beings in darkness much sooner than the human behind the wheel is able to. The new 7 Series is a technology triumph. The sophisticated suspension systems, the revolutionary driving assistant wizards, the powerful yet economical motorization. It is hardly a surprise that the new model is hardly any lighter in weight than the predecessor, the least heavy version weighing 1.9 tons. It will therefore be hard to reach the announced average fuel consumptions, 7.2 litres for the diesel, 11 for the 750i. But with pneumatic suspension and all-wheel steering, BMW have certainly closed some important technology gaps. That BMW chose Russia as the venue for the launch is understandable. The economic boom in the East is reflected in the rising sales for cars bearing the BMW badge. In the first six months of this year, sales were up 33.4% in comparison with the year before. The Red Square extravaganza was a must. I think it's fantastic. I mean, I don't know where you got a sandwich, a, you know, uh, an hourglass that big to fit a 7 Series inside, but it works really well. The whole theme of time and movement and dynamic and luxury, I mean, it's not only BMW, but it's also, well, it's Russia. But there was a lot of hard work behind the scenes. It started with ideas on paper, concepts and suggestions from the marketing experts, then a weeding out process until only a single concept remained on the table. This time, the hourglass. When the architect has completed the drawings, the model builder takes over. There's a kind of dress rehearsal, a build of the hourglass to make sure everything works. Only then the road to Moscow can be taken. After four months of preparation, the hourglass is in place, the presentation a huge success. It is the demand from China and Russia that will ensure that the V12 will stay in the BMW program. Next year we'll see the introduction of a mild hybrid drive with a small electric motor between the transmission and the conventional engine. With all of these innovations in the new 7 Series, BMW is setting the barrier higher in the luxury segment. It will be interesting to see how the rivals, Mercedes-Benz in particular, will respond.